Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and I have another cool wine to review, and it's one of the wines that's in the top 20 for a total wine and more, and it is less than $10, so stay tuned to take a look at this Tempranillo. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm going to be looking at a 100% Tempranillo from Spain. It is one of the ones, I think it's like number... I can't remember what number it is, but it's in the top 20 of the best-selling wines at Total Wine. So I decided, yeah, might, might as well pick one up since it was, I think, $8.99, if I recall. So nine bucks, that's not bad at all. All right, before I actually get into the wine, I did want to read the back of the bottle because there's a little bit of an interesting story on this wine. Uh, it says, during 1476 at the Battle of Toro against Alfonso V of Portugal, was born the Spanish health, thanks to Isabel the Catholic. The nurse, as she was known. She was who decided that six tents to treat wounded soldiers were installed, as well as the red wine dosification to comfort them. La Enfermera, the nurse, is made exclusively from 100% Tinta de Toro type grapes, Tempranillo, from our vineyards, all with non-grafted vines with a slight barrel aging during three months. With that being said, oh yeah, by the way, this is a 2017 and it's 14.5% alcohol by wine. Uh, so interesting kind of a little backstory behind it. Uh, but, I, ooh. Ooh. Let's take a look at this color. Ooh, you are a cool looking temp. Uh, I would say you are medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose. Oh, that's interesting. You smell clean. Not like as in like the condition is clean, but like the wine itself is clean. Almost like slightly soapy. There is a little bit of a, yeah, again, some, some raspberry, but it smells like red currant. Cherry. Actually not hint, it, it actually hits pretty hard on the cherry. I mean, it's there. Kind of like dark chocolate note coming through. Just a little, I mean, barely there though. And a little bit of earth. And some vanilla. It honestly, it, it smells like it, it would have been a sweet wine. Like, like if, if you just smell it, it has sort of that, it's like a candied vanilla, like a candy vanilla bean. It, it smells sweet, but I, I don't think it will be. It's 14.5% alcohol by volume, unless it's magically fortified somehow. But you know what? We won't know until we taste it. Let's just go into that step already. Really good acid. I would say medium plus on the acid. The body's a little weak. Uh, I would say you're probably looking at medium minus body. Tannins, medium plus tannins. They're uh, they're kind of clingy. They're like fine clingy tannins. Lots of, I mean the fruit intensity, oh by the way on the nose, medium intensity on the nose. Medium intensity on the palate. It's not like kicking me like I would kind of thought a, uh, a more fruit forward Tempranillo would, would do. Uh, there is a slight bit of that dark chocolate. And actually, even though I smell vanilla, and the vanilla continues to develop, I don't taste it at all. May, maybe a little bit, a little tit, hint of that dark chocolate. It is earthy. It is, uh, there is an earthiness to this wine and it's dry. It's not sweet. Uh, man, this is, the, yeah, yet again, it's one of those where it kind of makes me question <laughs> how Total Wine is, is like marketing these things because it's not, bad, but you know what, let's get to the blick and then we can talk about this. Uh, balance, nah, I'm gonna give you half a point. I think the body is is not as robust as it should be. Um, I feel like it needs more weight for this acid because it, it's kind of a little bit of like an acid water bomb. It's, it's kind of a little too runny for my taste with having this much acid and it being a red wine. So uh, I'll say half a point there. Uh, length, medium minus finish, no points. Intensity, medium on both. So half a point and complexity. Nah, man, you're just red fruit with barely hints of anything else. Like you really have to move it around your mouth. And even then, I'm not getting much. I am getting like slight petroleum though. 
I'm, I'm wondering if that was that kind of cleanness that I was talking about. Um, but it, but I'll be honest, it doesn't taste good. It's, this wine is actually a bit bitter. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna give you any points for complexity. I'm gonna give you okay. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know what's up with this wine. And like I said, I don't know why Total Wines thinks that um, they need to be pushing it as hard as they are. Because I, I, I'm not a fan of it. And, uh, and yet, once again, James Suckling, uh, 91 points. I, I don't get it, man. I, I, it's, it's not, it's just, maybe I'm spoiled on Texas Tempranillo. It's a little bit more oomph to find it, but this is, a. Uh, it's kind of runny, kind of weak. Uh, I'm not too much of a fan of it. It's not drain worthy. I mean, it's not offensive, but it's just, if someone handed this to me and I was drinking it, I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Well, let me drink this and move on to something else. I mean, I'm, just not just not impressed with it at all anyway this has been Stuart with wine all the time if you like today's video please like subscribe and comment have you tried the 2017 La Enfermera I'd be interested to know if you have leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from wine on the dime man I just I'm so bummed it's late at night I just wanted to have a glass of something good and I failed Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just cut the video.